guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Kitchen Mama Yes You Can electric can opener versus the KitchenAid just regular can opener. No batteries required. This one was the highest rated on Amazon and this is the best electric can opener. I've never used an electric can opener before so this should be interesting. I'm actually going to test it out on all these different can sizes and each one is the same size. Um, and we'll just see how they do and which one's the best. But before I get started, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to support my channel. I really do appreciate it. And thank you all for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. We're going to start the video with the Kitchen Mama Yes You Can electric can opener because I have to set it up and put batteries in it. The reason why we have two can openers is because my can opener broke and I told Michael that I needed a new can opener, but I didn't expect him to buy me one. Um, I actually bought this one online because I've always wanted an electric one and he ended up ordering this for me and I didn't even know but it's all good because you can never have too many can openers and if this one breaks I always have one that doesn't need electricity to work so um, let's get started I believe I need double-a batteries I need four of them so I'm gonna go get some double-a batteries to set this bad boy up I got some batteries Got some batteries, we're gonna put those in there. So apparently it uses magnets to clamp tightly onto the can and it turns 360 degrees. It's one touch operation and apparently it's really easy to use. Um, they also sent some directions in here. So I just wanted to show you guys a close up on how you're supposed to place it on here. Looks like it's supposed to go like this according to the directions and then it'll spin 360 to open up the can. I'm interested to see how it's gonna work on all these different can sizes because the smallest one might be a little bit harder for it to um, for it to open because it's so big and bulky. But let's get started and see how it goes. Okay, so this is the first can. I'm gonna set it up like this. Okay, and then it just says you touch the top and then it starts to go. Press, go. Oh my goodness. Working. I don't think that worked. I must have placed it wrong. So let me try that. a little bit but it didn't work 100 oh wow okay so it <laughs> i thought it was supposed to go on top and make the rim but i guess it just goes along the sides uh, that's pretty cool let me show you guys what it actually looks like that's that's blowing my mind right now so it kind of just it took it off because see there's no like marks on the top that's so interesting okay on to the next one. So we know it opens that. I'm surprised that this thing is actually staying balanced and not falling off the can. Like that is pretty impressive. Okay, let's see this one. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know how I did. Oh. It did this one too. Wow, it's working pretty well. And don't worry, we won't be wasting these canned goods. I'm gonna be using them for like a little stew, so there's no food waste in this video. <laughs> okay, it's doing pretty good on the smaller cans. I'm impressed. I like that I don't have to do any work, which is kind of nice. The only thing is, it doesn't stop automatically, so you have to press the button to make it stop. So that's the only thing. All right, let's see this. Well, this one popped open too. Look at that, did it. And the last can, let's see how it does now. This I'm gonna have for lunch, so I'm not gonna put the tuna in the skillet, I promise. 
This is an interesting contraption. Definitely done. It just popped off. Yep, it did it. That's awesome. All right. Now that we've seen the Kitchen Mama electric can opener do its work and it definitely passed the test, we're gonna try the old fashioned can opener. And I'll also put the links for these products down in the description so you can check out these can openers for yourself, depending on which one you like. But let's try this one. It has no batteries. It's just a regular old fashioned one. It's KitchenAid and it has the best reviews on Amazon. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it works with all these cans. And then I'll give you my final review results of both of these products and which one you should buy. All right, so we're gonna start off with the bigger can first. We'll see how hard it is to, uh, to crank this bad boy. Okay, it's doing pretty good. It's a little tough. Ugh, this is like my arm workout for the day. Okay, it did well. It opened it all the way. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of open it for you guys get a little, little saucy today but, and now we're going to try it on this can of corn see what it does man well i know it's already better than the can opener that i have now because the manual one that i have now like will stop in the middle of um opening the can and it'll have these weird divots and then it's like you can't even get the lid off after so this is actually working pretty well wow these are all opening pretty easily this manual can opener is definitely better for smaller cans the bigger the can the harder it is i feel like to open And this one as well it did really well so both of these products they passed the test they opened all these cans but the one that i would recommend uh, is probably the kitchen mama electric can opener i didn't expect it to be that good it opened all the cans really easily i didn't have to crank anything which is really cool it takes double a batteries um, it's not rechargeable but hopefully the next version will be this one worked really well too and I think it would be a good backup just in case like you don't have any batteries. So I think both of them are a really good buy. But if I had to pick one, it would probably be this one because it's just a lot easier to use and it wasn't that expensive either. So I'll put both these product links down in the description so you can take a look at it for yourself and compare and contrast reviews and things. And if you've bought any type of uh, manual or electric can opener, let me know down in the comments and which one's your favorite. I'm definitely team electric right now. Hope this video helped you guys figure out what can opener you wanna buy. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.